Right, I'm here with Mars, Vice President of Drift World Order. Great used cars at Sting Used Cars in McBean. Hi, how you do? Listen, this drifting thing is getting massive. I see you get invited to all events. You get invited to rally. You get invited to Wallerfield. You get invited to Tobago to display your drifting talents, yeah. man. Like, I see the cars the way. Honestly, I think it's the first time I personally have seen these cars, but I must admit, they're looking sweet, yeah. man. Yeah, are the sponsors coming in now? Are you getting sponsorship now? Yeah, definitely. Well, these two cars here, me and my, well, my car and Kerry cars, you can see, we're sponsored by Racetrack Wheels. Right. Kerry is sporting the Saloon brand, Saloon brand of tires. Right. I, I, I now launch a new brand of tires on the Racetrack, the Achilles tires. Right. Um, so there are sponsors coming your way. What is helping with the sponsors is that once you have, you know, like a series of events, you, you, the sport active then, yeah. you know, the sponsors could come out to the drivers and deal with them because they know it's not just like a one day thing and, you know, so that's good and, you know, kudos to all these people that support the racers out here. That's what we need more. And also the dedication all the guys put out in the sport, in the drifting, to come out here with the team and make it happen. That, you know, you must also give hats off to them also for doing that. And the media, the KVTV, you always did an excellent job for coming out here and covering all of the events. And that's important because the sponsors and everybody else get to see what's really happening, what's taking place, so that they can come out to these events, you know, and enjoy it. So let me ask you a question. Like, say, the, the ma normal man in the street who don't know much about drifting, but likes this sport, wants to get involved, what would be a good base car for him to buy um, to start off with and what modifications would he need to do to his car? Well, in Trinidad we have plenty of the C33 medalists and the Saferos. That will be, or a K70 Corolla, that will be pretty much economic as a good starter car to come out with. If you can get a hand on like a S chassis car or Skyline rear wheel drive, that will be good. Basically what you want is a working handbrake, you yeah, carry in the back. Um, you want to have either your, your diff well welded up or if you can afford a LSD and some good suspension, right? And that's, you don't need much horsepower to start off in drifting. And from there as you advance and you grow is where, you, from your car being set up to actually lose traction very easily, you want to set up your car for more grip. And your horsepower is what will break the traction on the car. And your grip will be there so you can do more precision maneuvers, right? Like last night you'll be seeing today, Kerry, Philip here, they're the first 360 drift in yeah. <laughs> Trinidad, right? And then execute yeah. the corner in motion, you know? Yeah. So we are Drift Order. We try to do new things, try to keep the sport up. We have a school, right? You can check us out on the Facebook page, Drift Order. Contact Kerry or Maz. And that way you can get the hands-on training, personal one-on-one. -on -one. And we could also help you with setting up your car. We're out here to make sure that everyone have fun when they're doing the sport, enjoy it, and do it in the right way. And that way it will elevate the sport and what we do here, you know? Kerry, awesome. Yeah, welcome Kerry. I'm glad you came in, man. Because I know how to get some bus here if I didn't put you in this interview. <laughs> so I'm glad you're here, man. That so, well, that, there's, my, there's my VP, there's my man, there's yeah. my brother, there's every you went through yeah. thing. Highs, lows. Yeah, that's not, you know his love? Here yeah, is love. No, it's just like drift, you know? Not because they fail, it's uh, like just done. You know what I mean? You're harder. Keep at it, you know what I mean, and execute it, and you have a good relationship. And that's what we have. We have this chemistry with everybody in DW, King, Menace, Twang, Ravi, Ravi, everybody. everybody. You understand? We have Quasi, come with that case, something real man, you understand? Real power, trees, beams, yeah. beams. And as you're saying, we have a school, we went into, you know, teach people, you know, and have a lot of, I can't tell you who, because a lot of the training is really confidential and kind of thing, you know what I'm saying? So, but other than that, they have people willing, and I seen a lot of new talent out there, you know what I'm saying? And with, with heart, not just because they could do it, I told people with, with heart and actual precision and the passion to actually, you know what I'm saying? The sponsors, yeah. if it wasn't for them, they had a lot, a lot of things we could not do. We had a race truck, you know what I'm saying? He done a lot, race truck, the saloon tire, that saloon tire, boss, working on van, car, jeep. Mini, everything. Yeah, the Achilles, I know touch out. The Achilles, that is the smoke maker right there. You have extreme drift on yeah. it. And lots of smoke for the drift guys. Yeah. Yeah, son. And let me see. Uh, Vavolin, right? Vavolin's one. Um, Shoney Auto. 
you have he there, you know, when you want to get a car, you can touch with him, you know, showing right. you that he's in yeah. Central. In Central. Yeah. Okay, so with the school, right, mm -hmm. what would you expect, what would I need to have to come to your school and learn to drift? Well, right now, you need a car. Right. I would say better to learn with a car, because in that way it's your... Any car? Well, the rear we drive car preferably. Right. Because, I mean, yes, they'll say you drive front, we drive car, or we drive car, but the rear we drive car, is where you, is, you won't get the same finesse right. with the rear wheel drive car. You had to use the rear wheel drive car rather than the other cars now, you understand? So the rear wheel drive car is more preferable, you understand? You had to have um, good suspension basically, as you say with the diff, ILSD, or if you can't afford it, you can lock it up for the time being, right? Um, good clutch, uh, basically a good working engine. You don't really need power. Power is just to enhance or exaggerate the drift. The drifting already comes here, you see here? Right, right here. Ugh. Here, here, yeah, right. no emotion, just nice passion, feeling everything, and yeah, and that's it. And, and how long would it take to drift? This rain is coming down, so yeah, how long would it take you to teach me? It depends on the person, but we had but people see, who like all the rain for one fall. This will stop, this will stop, this will stop. Let the drift one start no. right? Yeah. yeah, watch out for these guys on the track, man. Here in Tobago, dragon wine competition. Harry, Harry Skin, how you doing, sir? I'm good, how are you? I'm not too bad because the last time I was here in Tobago, 2012, you came second in a solo decks event. Yeah, that's right. Right. Yeah. And the first place was Randall Thomas from Tobago. Right. Yeah. But I noticed your car's changed slightly. Um, yeah. What, what, what's the difference? A new car or what? It's, it's a new model, um, but it's the same engine and transmission and suspension from my old car. So it's just on a new chassis. When did you do that? i um, been working on it, myself and Kieran, my mechanic, i um, been working on it for the last month. Okay, so uh, obviously yeah, this is the, the first the car. Yeah, first right. time I'm driving the car. So this is like a bit of a test and tune for you? So. Yeah, exactly. Right. exactly. Okay. So in a few days we have it up and running. So as I say, 2012, I believe you had one event since then and then this event. What is Tobago doing to try and get more events like this over here? Well, last year we did the same Motor Maniacs um, thing, on, but we had no paved area, so we had it on dirt. So a lot of guys didn't want to come out with the cars and chip up their paint and right. stuff. So um, now we've got it a paved area and um, we formed a club and we're getting permission to, to use it. So we're hoping to have regular events in Tobago, right. do something every month, at least every other month, have something that we have here. So because a lot of the guys here have never done Dragon Wine before. So we had a practice the other day and they came out and they realized, oh, we have to adjust our suspension and do tires and make little adjustments and they're all really enjoying it. So um, we're going to move on from, from use the momentum from this event to keep going and, and do more events. Now, I, I've heard um, Tobagonians, some, this is only hearsay that I've heard, but Tobagonians do like Subarus or Evos. Nah, they have all kind of cars in Tobago. Right. Yeah, a lot of cars with SRs. We have a Datsun 620 pickup that competes in a Skyline. We have um, a couple of Lancers, front wheel drive cars. We have we have about the same amount of cars from Tobago as came from Trinidad. It's about 25, 25. But I mean, I'm just having a look down the line here. I'm seeing a lot of Subarus. Yeah, well, half of those are from Trinidad. Okay, okay, stand corrected, I stand corrected. All right, so your competition today who, 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 who's, who's the people to look out for? Um, well, there's there's a few. Well, Randall is here. He's driving. Oh, he the, the, the winner from. Okay. Yes, yes right. you should check him. Um, there's I, I don't know. I see the little terrapin, that little go kart thing right. that Kirk has. That's supposed to be really fast too. Yeah. But uh, that's from the s the frame is from the seventies. I understand. Yeah. 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 It's a open wheel kit. Um, Alistair. Really good driver from Trinidad. What car has he got? He's got the black Evo. Right. Um, and when we went to the circuits, you were at the circuit racing, right? He was, he's the one who lapped everybody on the, the supercar race. Um, he's a really good driver. Troy, um, Miguel. Uh, it, there's a bunch of good fellas out here, you know, down to who makes a little mistake on the lap. And, you know. Now, um, again, I'm going back to the last event in 2012. I, I know that um, Tobago proved themselves very worthy in that competition. We tried. Well, you did. I mean, you guys won. Yeah. So, um, you know about Wallerfield. Wallerfield's opened up. Are you guys going to come down to an event in 
What a feel? Yeah, um, we're actually trying to plan to come to the one in September, right. the um, time attack. Right. Yeah, so we're trying to get a few of us together and come down as a group um, as with the club. Yeah, shouldn't that be very keen to see you guys down there, man? Because like, as I say, from that program, you really did impress well, me anyway. And I'm sure a lot of the viewers as well. Thanks. Yeah. And don't forget, Ajman will be here too. His car is coming in later today with the red two-door Subaru. Right. Okay. But he'll be driving his Safiro as well. He's a very good driver. Yeah. So. Right. You hear that? Look out. Look out for the show. Look out for the footage that we're going to be bringing you. It's going to be good. All right, stay blessed. This thing used cars. We got all different types of cars. 5,000, 10,000, 20, 30, 40, 60,000. You choose it.